Another unique functionality is the way uh, the array provides access to uh, its element. So we can use another in the array as a list of indexes for the original array. So let me show you an example here. And so this is my script and I'm going to call the uh, array and let's open up the uh, brackets. So I'm going to call np.array and then let's open up the parentheses and then brackets. So two, three and four, for example, here. And let me close the bracket. Let's close the first parent and then close the uh, second bracket. Let's put all of this inside the, the print function. So let's call print and then passing in all this expression here. And so if I run this, here we go. So uh, we got three, four, five. So if you look at A, this is A. And so we provided the print function with the output of the uh, NP array passing in the second, third, and fourth elements. So this is index zero, this is index one, and this is index two. So we extracted everything that's from index two to index four. So this is the second, this is the third, and this is the fourth element. So here we get the output three, four, five. That's this slice here. And of course, slicing is working as well. So let us take an example. Let's call the print function and then passing in the array A, but we just need to select, for example, elements one, two, three, and let's close the brackets and close the parents and hit F5 to save and run this. And so here we have from index one, but not uh, up to index three, not including three. So this is index zero and this is index one. So this is the first element that you have here. And this is the following element. So number two here, but uh, the element at position three is not included. Remember with slicing, the upper element of the index is not included. So that's why we just got two and three. And so the regular index works fine as well. So I can call print function and then I'm going to uh, select the element of A that is at position zero. Guess what is the output? Uh, you should guess it. Yeah, that's correct, 15. That's the first element. So the element at index zero, here we go. So that was the output of this line here. And so remember in the last lecture, we talked about um, operation propagation. We can do the same with relational operations. Uh, and so what I mean is you can say print a less than five. And of course, let me uh, hit F5 to save and run this and let's see the output. So here we go. Uh, it returns uh, the boolean values so it says false whenever this uh, expression is false and it returns true for each element where the uh, expression is true so a is less than 5 in this case here we have 15 so it says false but in the second element it says true because 2 is less than 5 and for the next one as well, and four is the next element, so it's less than five, it says true. And then here it is false because five is not less than five. And then finally, uh, for the last uh, element, six is not less than five, so it says false. And so we can use also the index to filter the list based on a specific condition. So for example, if I call print and then print parentheses and then a but for this uh, time I'm going to select uh, whenever uh, the elements are less than five and then let's close the brackets 
save and run and see the output. So here we go. Uh, it allows us to filter the elements based on a specific condition, as I said. And so here it says two, three, four. So elements where this condition is uh, true are those elements. So three, uh, two, three, and four. For the other elements, so 15 and uh, five and six are not included. So it returns this uh, array. So uh, another um, manipulation we can do with the uh, indexing is that uh, we can go even further and make values changed based on the filter. So what I mean here, let's say a index and then a less than five and we assign this the value of zero and then let us print a and see it's a new value let me save and run here we go so what we did here is we assigned the value zero to all the elements of a where the value is less than five and so we print a uh, let's go back to the interpreter here and so here what we did is we assigned the value zero to all the positions or all the elements where this condition is true and so whenever uh, the element of the array a is less than five it will be replaced with the value of zero and so we print a so that's the output so 15 is not less than 5 so it remains unchanged for the other elements 2 3 and 4 they are all less than 5 and so their values are now updated to the value 0 and then 5 and 6 are not less than 5 so they remain unchanged and so another useful tip that you should know about uh, the arrays is the non-value. So while gathering uh, the data, we may miss some values or get them in a wrong form. So for this case, we have NumPy's value none. So N-A-N. -N. And let me type that on the screen to make it clear. So none, like this. And that is short for not a number. Uh, so if at any data point NumPy didn't find the desired value, it will um, keep it as a non-value. Uh, let's see an example to understand how this works. So let's uh, assign the uh, variable C the value in array, and then I'm going to open up the brackets, the parentheses, and then let's pass in the value one, two, and then here I'm going to say np dot none and the value three, then the next one is four. Let's close the brackets here, then close the param and let me print C. So print C. Now if I save and run this code. Oh, got a typo here, so forgot a comma. So let me save and run. And so here, uh, the values that you see here are one, two, none. So it returns the value none, then three and four. We can also use the is none uh, method to check if we have any uh, non value within a specific array. So, what I mean by this is let me, for example, uh, print uh, this expression. So, uh, np dot uh, is none and passing in the um, array c. And so, the output of this line uh, will be an array will be including boolean values so let me run it for you to see what i mean and so here you can see the output so it is false false true false false and so remember the value of c this is the line where we print 
the uh, array C and as you can see the only instance where the non value is visible is on the second index and so 0 1 2 this is the second index so here it is true for this value here but the others have no non values so it says false everywhere else and so another thing I wanted to show you here is how to filter these values out so for instance whatever there is a non value we want to get rid of it and the way to do that is to uh, select the uh, index in the uh, array C uh, put in the approximate sign and then call in np dot is none passing in C and so I'm going to close the brackets here and now let me print all of this so let's call the print function here use the parentheses as well here and let me run this to show you what will be the output so the output of this line is is this array so it includes the values one two three four but it doesn't include the original value that we put uh, here that was a non value so this non value was removed so we keep talking about uh, the speed and uh, efficiency but is it really true so i'll let you know by yourself so we will see how to uh, how it performs against python lists we will talk about that in the next video thank you for watching and see you soon